Hey everyone, Curtain Guy here. So, since the last time I posted a playthrough of Wayward Souls, I've gotten close to 400 new subscribers for my Next Level Strats comedy series. So, first I want to say hi to all these new viewers and thank you so much for subscribing. So, since this is the first time a lot of you are seeing me play this game, I want to talk a little bit about what it is and why I'm playing it. So, Wayward Souls is an action roguelike game, which means that death is permanent, so you have to make it through each playthrough without dying. Uh, the game has a lot of skill involved, but it's also really rewarding. And, uh, I'm also a big fan of this game because I feel like it's a great example of the fact that mobile games don't have to be mediocre or full of in-app purchases and garbage like that. Like, this is an actual legitimately good game that you can get in your smartphone. Alright, so in this playthrough I'm going to be uh, using the mage. She's what most people would call a glass cannon type character. Um, she's very powerful but has a small amount of health and can die very easily. I feel like she's probably one of the top choices for people who are more experienced players. Alright, so she's a lot different from the other characters, like check this out, like her attack, first of all, it's a longer range attack, and it uses energy, if you see that blue bar in the top left corner, each time I use it, see, a little bit of my energy goes down, and then when I'm out of energy, I can't use my attack anymore, so it's always important to monitor that bar. She also has a little charge attack here, see, it's kind of a long range attack, but it takes more energy. I don't believe it does more damage, so only use it when you have to. robots here. They're not too tough. Now one other technique that we're gonna go over in a second. If you're ever cornered by a bunch of enemies and you're like running out of energy, you can swipe up and down to use your uh, scrolls. Right, so that guy went down pretty quickly. So yeah, she's really powerful. Um, her hits, they hit very hard. Those guys went down pretty easily. And since she's long range, you know, you don't have to put yourself in danger. It's when you get cornered that you're, you want to watch out and start using your scrolls. Oh wow, we're already past the first level. Okay. So let's uh, check out some of the mage's uh, lore here. Okay, so she doesn't know her family's history, and she doesn't know who her father is or where he came from. Alright, so we're in level 2 now. The, uh, the mines that I'm in right now, they have 5 levels right now, I'm on floor 2 as you can see here. Alright, so... I want to hit those guys with a charge shot, because um, the charge shots actually penetrate multiple enemies. So sometimes it pays to do that. Gotta stay away from that guy when you kill him. Oh, got a few more dropping down here. Ah, see, I took a hit there and that took a decent chunk of my health. You really gotta watch out. Alright, finish this guy off. Okay. And we are well stocked on uh, this uh, wind power here. Let me show you guys. If you swipe down, it doesn't look like much when you're not using it on an enemy, but it'll send an enemy flying way back. So if you're ever cornered, you know. Here, let me let me see if I can show you guys right here. So yeah, so that's the wind power. And there's the flame power. another hit there. I feel like she can only take like six or seven hits. You really gotta be careful. These guys go down with one shot. Now let's see what treasures she can get. Alright, just more scrolls. Sometimes she gets powerful spells too. Alright, like this one. This is a summon sprite. So this is a little flame sprite that'll follow you around. What's next? More of these little dudes. Man, those guys really do not pose a threat. Okay, so this is a number forge. We're gonna upgrade some of her weapons. We can choose Mana Blade Arts, conjures a magical blade to slice foes and reflect projectiles, or Tome of Storms discharges 
This charges a short range electric shock to damage and stun foes. Uh, let's try the Tome of Storms. It's been a while since I've gotten this upgrade. I forget exactly how it works, but let's try it out. It seems to have replaced our firepower. Got a little statue that gives you a bonus. Blazing Fear, I believe that increases your attack power. Okay, so I don't, do not want to go close to these guys. I'm going to try to hit them long range. Hit him with another shot there. Wow. That electric shock took down that crag where I'm like nothing. Seems like it's a pretty powerful weapon. Okay, you gain a little health when you finish the level there. Okay, so the mage and her sister found a journal belonging to their grandfather. Which hint that he used to work in this tower. So that's what the mage is doing in this tower in this game, is trying to find, you know, where her father came from. This tower is full of uh, these guys called like these co Commonwealth Knights who the mages did not get along with. So, Abby the mage is very confused as to why her father was ever here. Jeez, these guys drive me crazy. So, <laughs> this little urn gives you a sort of a speed upgrade here. You can see I'm glowing from it. And you're gonna need it because you gotta run real fast past these guys. If you can get them to hit the wall twice, they'll break. They'll just shatter into little pieces. But if you don't have a speed upgrade like I do just now, it can really be a pain in the ass for a slower character. Alright, what do we have here? These robots are pretty tough. Actually, I think they're called golems, but yeah. These are, in my opinion, the, the toughest enemy that you're gonna run into in the mines. Okay. Oh, we got another spell here. It's sort of like a laser beam. It's pretty powerful. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, dead end. Alright, let's walk back. I might fast forward just a, f a few seconds for you guys so you don't have to watch me walking across this entire dungeon. Okay, we're back. These little guys go down in one hit, but these other golems take quite a few. Oh, I guess we're full of uh, those electric scrolls. Mm, no, we gotta go up. Oh, a few more little dudes. Yikes. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Okay. Let's check our map. Alright, we gotta keep going north. And what do we have here? Oh, just uh, one of these sneaky little dudes. They like to disappear into the shadows. You gotta kill them quickly. So that electric power also stuns guys too. It also stuns these guys, which is very handy. I really gotta start using more of my wind power because I have nine of those. And you can't carry more than nine. Alright, cool. We're at the end of that level. Let's check out a little more story. Okay. They couldn't stand the mystery any longer, so they set out to this tower. And then somehow they got separated. And that's how Abby is in the mines now. Ooh. These bats can be a pain for slower characters. On these cragworms, forget about it. I hate these guys. Yikes. Took a lot of hits there. Gotta be more careful. Okay. Alright, we're good for now. 
And we have more electricity. Whatever you call it, I forget what I forget what the power is called already. Um Alright, what are we gonna find in here? Uh zombies. Those uh fat zombies explode after you do enough damage, so you gotta make sure you stand kind of far away from them. That wasn't so bad. Alright. What do we have here? Nothing? Alright, cool. Looks like we got another upgrade here. Perfect. So we can choose between the Blaze Weave, which fires a blast of smoke and embers, pushing and damaging foes. Or Walwyn's Frock and that was a backward dash confusing enemies. Okay, I love Walwyn's Frock. We're definitely taking that. It's incredibly useful. And I'll show you guys in a second how it works. Okay. So I'm gonna swipe down and watch this. So all these guys are going after my shadow now. They're not paying attention to me, so that's perfect, like for the it's perfect for this character, especially because, you know, she can take damage so easily, you really need to... Anything, any way you can distract enemies is going to be really useful. Really? How did that hit me from like a mile away? Alright. Gotcha. And you're dead. And you're dead. Nope, I guess not. Okay. Jeez, I only have... I have less than half of my health. Gotta play carefully when you're the mage. Okay, he's down. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's her sister, Gracie. Been looking for you for hours. So her sister's not having a good time. Gotta find a way to get to her. <laughs> Don't let the treasures mute at you. Alright, good luck, Gracie. Stay safe. Let's check our map real quick. I think we're almost at the end of this floor. Get a little treasure. Okay. Alright, so we're in the last floor of the mines. This is the boss floor. Alright, before the boss we have to survive a few enemies though. Now one important tip, if you're uh, spamming your basic attack and you run out of energy, um, using your swipe up or swipe down powers will actually restore a lot of your energy. So that's another reason why if you're cornered you really want to just keep on uh, you know, swiping up and down. getting a little risky. I hope we'll be able to beat the boss like this. Okay. So here the game is going to tell you a little bit of lore about the, uh, the mines and the tower that it's attached to through these little cutscenes involving these ghosts. Basically, to summarize for you guys, there was a big war here in this area where some mages were attacking the commonwealth who lived in the tower and they were using the mines as sort of a back door through the, to get through the tower. Oh, we got a health potion. Perfect. Two health potions. Okay. I think we're going to make it.
right. Humphrey is very easily, uh, irritated. Okay. So you do not want to stay in front of this guy at all. You always want to be to the side of him or behind him. I wonder if he's going to be distracted by my, uh, shadow. Yeah, he is. Excellent. That's very helpful. Because... A couple hits from this guy is going to do a lot of damage. Fix. Man, that Walwyn's Frock item really helps me out. You gotta be careful when he lands, because he can still damage you. There's a large uh, area of impact there. Hey, why don't I use some of my powers? I forgot I had those. Let's do it. Let's try this laser out. Well, that didn't do much. Let's try this little sprite. It's not doing very much either. Okay, let's use this aged hourglass. It'll speed me up a little bit and slow him down. Nice, we got him. That wasn't so bad. Right, and we are done with the mines. Now normally you'll get a hat from that treasure chest, but I think I've got most of the hats in the game already, so they're just giving me some money. Alright. One less monster. Hopefully Gracie didn't run into him before I did. Alright. Abby the Mage survived the journey through five floors. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the mage or about Wayward Souls in general, feel free to leave a comment. And subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.